This is Johnny. Johnny loves video games. Some might even say it's his passion. Isn't that right, Johnny? You better believe it, mister. But sadly, Johnny's about to read something online about an upcoming game he's looking forward to that's going to make him very angry. Well, shucks. This really upsets me. Johnny feels a recent change to a game he's looking forward to will ruin his playing experience, so he wants to contact the company that makes the game so he can express his disapproval. Right, Johnny? Right. I'm going to send anonymous tweets and emails to the game director, developers, and designers threatening to either kill, harm, and or rape them or their loved ones. <laughs> no, Johnny. That's psychotic and illegal. But what about freedom of speech? What about it? Just because you're unhappy with something doesn't give you the right to threaten someone. It doesn't? No, Johnny, it doesn't. It may surprise you, but designers and developers are people too, and as such, deserve basic human decency. In fact, everyone that works on a video game is a real person. But what if they're doing their job poorly? No, Johnny, not even then. Well, she golly, mister, why not? Do you remember this? Oh, yes, the animators really messed up on that. Wrong, Johnny. The animators had nothing to do with that. A lot of the animation was programmed and not hand animated. It was a bug that caused that problem. I didn't know that. Of course you didn't, Johnny, because you're suffering from Don and Kruger syndrome. You see, Johnny, studies have shown that for some people, there's a correlation between how little they actually know and how much they think they know. So you're saying because game development is so complicated and I know so little about it, I've tricked myself into thinking that I know more than I actually do? Yes, Johnny, but you're not the only one. That's why people decided to threaten to kill and rape one of the female animators of that game. Well, that game was still messed up. Somebody should be yelled at. Wrong again, Johnny. Game companies can hire upwards of 600 people. You don't know what circumstances led to a decision or a bug being in a game. So you can't just randomly start yelling at people. That's like you working as a waiter at a restaurant and being yelled at because someone's favorite food item isn't on the menu. Let's say you did mess up someone's order. Would you want to be threatened? Well, gee, guess not. So what should I do? Sit down and think about what you would like to say. I'm going to use lots of profanity and memes. <laughs> no, Johnny. Your criticism should be clear and concise and include what you think is wrong and what you'd like to see happen. Are you saying a meme isn't a valid form of criticism? They lack depth, and it doesn't let the developer know what the problem is. They're just there to get lulls. And no profanity. No, you whiny little bitch. When you're disrespectful, people tend to tune you out, and even if you have a valid point, they won't hear you. Huh? Uh, sorry, what did you say? Just right. State your issue, say why it's a problem, and how it has or will affect your player experience. Then move on to how you would like to see the problem resolved. If you don't have the ability to write, try sharing something that someone else wrote that addresses the problem. It could be an article or a tweet. Okay, it's done. I'm going to search for everyone and anyone who works for the company and send it to them. No, that's a terrible idea. Depending on the issue, companies have official places where you can raise your concerns. All it takes is a simple Google search. Most companies have official emails, Reddits, or Twitter accounts for their community. They do? Yes, Johnny, they do. Just remember, these accounts are ran by community managers, people who had nothing to do with making the game. So be nice! The best part about posting in an official public forum is it allows members of the community who agree with you to show their support, thus bringing more attention to your issue. Well, that's great, mister, but what if after all that they still don't make the change I want? Don't buy the game. You have to understand, sometimes it's too late to make a change in a video game. But if you don't like something, you're well within your right not to spend your money on it. And if the company makes less money on it, then they're more likely to change it in the sequel. So I should review bomb the game with negative reviews. No, you sociopath. That makes you a hypocrite. You want your voice to be heard, but you want to silence others by trying to sway someone's opinion with a negative review of a game you didn't play. If a game makes a change and you don't like it, you may have to come to terms with the fact that the game isn't for you, even if the previous installments were. You mean if I don't like something, I should voice my opinion in a healthy manner and then just move on? 
Yes, Johnny, you're absolutely correct for once. Follow these steps and you too can start expressing your opinion in a healthy manner today.